it's Tuesday on Your View. Welcome to the show. I am Morayo Afolabi Brown. As always, I have the ladies with me. YK in the building. Yo, Acting yo, yo. actor, actor. YK in the building. <laughs> we saw you, YK. Uh-uh. Yes, How you so, How you yes. You know, when I went to watch the film earlier, last year, I think, right. with my, the family, yeah. the, so I, I hadn't told anybody because me go and forgotten. That you had I had said in the <laughs> <laughs> So they were all watching and then I now the link. Up. They were like, ah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, are, they say, ah, why did you tell us? I said, I forgot. <laughs> I, I didn't do it intentionally. Aww. You know? Yeah, was nice so I'm telling them. Yeah, well, well, look, nice acting. We need to get you to more roles, you know? Mm. Yeah, yeah. Beatrice can give me roles. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. no, no, honestly, Pro when I producer. saw you, I was like, ah, this woman will make a very good actor. Yeah. That was yeah. the first impression. Also, but this is not your way. first movie that you've acted in now. No. So the second. She's done another or third or so. Uh, two or three, did, yeah. She did yeah. some series that you've uh, you're an actor too. Now you're acting. Yeah, yeah. she is. <laughs> Why are you ready? Anything <laughs> happening, Hawaii? Okay? Nothing happening, no. Nothing happening. Let me, ah. let me move on. I have plenty of banter myself. Bye-bye. Okay. Not okay. okay. real. Yes. How you doing? I'm doing amazing. Ah, yes, yeah, your hair. Thank you, YK. Thank you so much. Yes. It's Tina Turner yes, thingy yes. going on today. No, actually, just an African woman showing her off her Afro. And you know what we know is Tina Turner, but no, we are happy we that. No, differently, especially after watching that movie. Yes, I mean, we need to tell our stories better and yes. tell it well. I was just so impressed. That movie was brilliant. It, was. it moved me to tears. As in movies that, you know, really grab at your emotions, that did that. I, just, I was like, I have to get my daughter to watch this movie. I'll still go to the cinema as well. Proudly yeah. African, told the African way, and was epic. Amazing movie. Uh, I, well I, done, Bolanle Austin Peter. Yes, I, I, uh, the whole family, when we watched it, everybody was crying. Oh. Yeah. Even oh. my brother was What's crying. Goosebumps all over. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so everybody was abusing them. So they, you were crying. I wasn't crying. <laughs> <laughs> you were all crying. I mean, it's always good just to see yeah. the family depicted, like so, um, the, one, one of the matriarchs in your family mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. picture that way. I was just saying that we take YK for YK granted. granted. Yes. I think we are in the presence of we are in presence <laughs> of royalty. Honestly. I'm blushing. I'm How are you doing, Obiajili? I'm doing good. I don't have anything to say. So I have time for your yeah, Oh. I want to talk about AMVC. That's what I wanted to talk about. So, I was at, so last weekend I was at the AMVC and I was really impressed the fact that they started on time. Mm. Seven actually they went live and so the doors were closed. Okay. Uh, I was a first timer, so I missed the red carpet. I didn't realize that when you enter, <laughs> they, they took pictures, you know, yeah. so I was really posing for all the pictures, Paparazzi. thinking that I'm done and I entered the hall. I was really happy, oh I got in so early and I saw I got a good spot. Okay. Not knowing that everybody was outside on the red carpet oh. doing the carpet rounds. Oh. It was like five minutes to door closing. I'm like asking, where are they all coming from? They are red carpet. Like, where is the red carpet? So on oh. this side, like, what? Oh. It, that's what I dressed up for the red carpet. Oh. <laughs> you know, so I missed that, but it was good. At least you, now you know. But what, I, what, what impressed me most about the awards is the fact that young people were projected. Genevieve, um, the other young man, um, I think it's um, Chimeze, um, Imo. These are young guys. Who are, and Lai, Wasabi, these are young guys who are doing well. Mm -hmm. And it just reminded, like, reminded me that Gen Zs, the power really is in their hands. And there's some great... Gen Z is doing amazing things, and it's important for um, platforms like that to recognize the work they do. Mm. I love what that young man said. He said, I am an actor. I'm Chimeze Imwana. I'm an actor. See you at work. Meaning that he owns his role as an actor. Mm -hmm. Same thing with Genevieve. She deserved those awards. Breath of Life was a good movie. Um, Jagun Jagun was a good movie. All the other movies, Mami Water, these are proudly African work, and I'm so happy that AMVC has been sustained this for 10 years. You have arrived. been consistent. Yeah. I'm so happy that young people are actually, um, they, got, they, they got their time on mm -hmm. Saturday and I was really happy to see I that. heard someone on the radio talking about the actors saying, you know, what they love about them is they all go for the, yeah. whether they are nominated or not, or all not, of them yeah. is an event yeah. for them. Yeah. Yeah. They attend it Cheap. and that the musicians should, you know, yeah. do that the for the head also to do, do that. For yeah. Them. Yeah. Yeah. And also I, I got an award on Sunday from my church, Victory Chapel, gave me an award. Um, it was those, it was Achievements Award. But those, it wasn't just me, there were lots of other people within mm -hmm. the church, but I was really excited. Thank you so much ah, to Vicky Chapel for that award. And uh, we went for the uh, Ramsar. Which we didn't see. 
at all. Oh, she didn't start. have to have this. You were not sitting with I was there. No, so I came early. I, when I, came. I came early and I sat upstairs. Okay, you so sat with the governors. No, the governor was on the... On the <laughs> I think so we I have to spend our level. So I wanted to come downstairs, yeah. but you know, when, I, when I'm going with my guy... We're right in front. My guy was like, let's go to the car. I'm like, I want to go and see the ladies of your view. Of course, he wasn't having it, so he just marched all of us to the car. And you didn't have any picture, nothing to do. No evidence, so I couldn't... No evidence that I came for that thing. No picture. You didn't even do red carpet. So I So my guys, TVC guys, interviewed me. Okay. Somebody else interviewed. A few other people interviewed okay. me, but I didn't have but my you own have your picture. Own personal record. I didn't have a picture. I want to come and take a picture of the ladies. But Hello. Sorry. So just... I mean, I did live. Yeah, yeah why I did that? I was outside. I was watching. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, yeah. let's go yeah. on a break, but it was a fantastic movie. Well done to Polanyi Hospital. Hopefully, we, have to, we should have them on Friday um, to come and talk about the movie. So we're mm. waiting for them. To either one of the great. actors or Polanyi herself should be here on Friday to discuss it. Let's go on a short break. It's still Tuesday. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Thanks for staying with us. <laughs> My arm just made me shy. <laughs> Let's start with the paper review. The Nation. FEC adopts CNG-powered vehicles for ministers and agencies. Yes. Labor seeks reversal of electric electricity tariff increase. Hubara to raise pro panel on weakest government. Wow. Restructuring of NYSE for future challenges starts. Finidi Mount Saddle vows rejig of Super Eagles. INEC plans new voter registration in Edo and Undo. Atiku Obi Saraki Lamido begin 2027 coalition talks. Productivity based wage coming for workers. Okay, which story are we starting? I can start okay. with the uh, NYSC. So the National Youth Service Corps, NYSC, is said to be restructured to meet the demands of the future, according to the Youth Development Minister Jamila Bayo Ibrahim, and said they have a team to undertake the review, restructuring, and reforms of the NYSC, and the team will be inaugurated soon. So he announced this yesterday in Abuja, the opening ceremony at, of the maiden meeting of NYSC management with head of core producing institutions in Nigeria. And he also announced that 5,000 core members will have their entrepreneurial ventures funded with about 10 million naira. He says, permit me to inform us very briefly on what is to come regarding the NYSC reforms. I'm pleased to announce that I will inaugurate a team to undertake the review, restructuring, and reforms of the NYSC. The first of these reforms will be centered on reviewing participants with an entrepreneurship mindset and making skills development a core of the program. It says they've always had skills development as part of the NYSC program. Uh, program. However, they are going to um, you know, make it more so that you know that when you're coming into NYSC, it's also an avenue to generates funds for yourself and your business. So they are going to be highlighting that as well. And he was happy. Also, the Federal Capital Territory Minister, Nyesom Wiki, was also happy about the decision that um, the NYSE um, stakeholders are going to be bringing to the fore so that they can improve NYSE. They are going to be having meetings to discuss some ways that they are going to also improve NYSE. So when you're coming into that program, you understand that you're not just there to just main goal and maybe do a job. You're also there to improve yourself, if, especially if you're entrepreneur. Okay, so I have a, a new wage system based on employee productivity in the civil service is underway, says the federal government. Um, so we have the DG of the National Productivity um, Center, Dr. Nasser Raj Mustafa. He announced this at a meeting with labor correspondents. He said that um, the federal government is in the process of developing a productivity-led wage system that will ensure that those who are productive are rewarded for their efforts, irrespective of their grade level. So what that means is that you may, you may be on the same level, but you, know, you can earn different salaries because of the amount of work that you put in. And so he says that this has been proposed, and um, this has been in the works four to five years in the works. And he was asked if he had, if this um, plan had involved other stakeholders. He was like, oh, definitely. They said um, NLC was approached, the TUC, that's Trade Union Congress as well, were approached concerning it, and they all supported this idea. They welcomed it. And they said they've gone far, you know, to just keep talking about it. In fact, they also stop at NYC. It's one of the things that they speak about to promote to preach uh, um, the promotion of productivity at NYC camp. So I think, for me, I, I think it's a good idea mm -hmm. to have that sort of yeah. um, wage uh, okay. system. Major headlines. So FEC yesterday mm -hmm. said all new vehicles, generators, all tricycles being procured by the government and its agencies must be powered. 
by the compressed natural gas, which is the CNG, solar, electric. Uh, uh, they, they made the decision yesterday at their meeting. It was one of the major decisions reached by the council before it adjourned its uh, meeting uh, for to, until today. It says that, according to the source, the decision will take immediate effect with request by CM, the, the Nigeria Customs Service and Nigerian Shippers Council, an agency on the marine economy. The agency sought approval to buy hundreds of operational vehicles. And the council, according to another source, approved the request, but said they must be CNG powered. Mm -hmm. As you recall, this is supposed to be the alternative source for um, uh, alternative um, 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 energy for, for vehicles. So, to cons to, so we can save costs on petrol. And um, so the federal government is, is, is taking the bull by the horn, starting with their own vehicles, cars and generators to ensure that it's CNG powered instead of um, uh, petrol. So I will take the Fubara story. Mm. <laughs> Fubara hey. has said that he's going to probe the previous administration of which he was accountant general. Mm. Mm. He said he's probing, he has now taken the fight to another, according to the nation, he has taken the fight to another level. Mm. Hey. So he says, he, he said this while they were inaugurating the new attorney general. He, uh, they consider, they Two-man panel, a two-man, a three-man mm -hmm. approved him as the new accountant, um, attorney general. He says, um, why are we bringing you at this very critical time? We have a lot of issues around us. Mm -hmm. We believe that you are not going to be the one that they send to service, to service, to, they send service to you and you will file no prosecute. He says, that's a, dis, uh, a formal notice of discontinu discontinuance. You will go and find the one that will kill us here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. He said, please defend us. We know eh? you are going to defend us because of your record, because your record is clean. Mm -hmm. You are a gentleman and peaceful. I mean, he said a lot. It's, I wish I could read every, everything to yeah, you. He's, yeah. uh, he says, yeah. I, I, he's happy is that clean. this is the beginning of a new era. Mm -hmm. he's, uh, All right, let's he move on. Wait, it's <laughs> <and>, uh, <laughs> a tiny disagreement that they thought they were family, that they could... But he has now seen that is, there is no way to resolve it. Wow. There's no way, and they, he's a, they say it's a mistake. If this is how they make mistakes, they should continue to make mistakes. Hey, one hey. <laughs> <laughs> Punch. Electricity tariff hike. FG convenes meetings as labor threatens indefinite protests. FG may meet, need supplementary budget to pay minimum wages, IMF. CBN may intervene as Naira slides to 1,400 Naira, over 1,400 mm -hmm. Naira. Um, EFCC indicts Sirika, brother in new 19 billionaire fraud. Mm. Delta mother, 16 year old son found dead two on, and two unconscious. Amoteko arrests 45 suspected criminals in Undo. FG plans performance based salary scheme for workers. And uh, yeah, which, let's take one story for the break. Okay, I think mine is quite short. So EFCC has charged the former Minister of Aviation, Hadi Sirika, and his brother, Ahmed Sirika. And this is a fresh charge, as we remember, as we recall, he had faced EFCC with his daughter and son-in-law, and they had been, you know, allowed to go on bill, a hundred million naira bill, and have been asked not to leave the country. And now this is a second charge. This is he, he, he and his brother, um, Ahmed Sirika, and um, he owns... The brother owns Engino's Nigeria Limited. And the story is that he used this influence, of course, to make sure that these contracts go to him. And especially a particular contract that was highlighted here is the he was awarded the contract for construction of terminal building at Katina Airport for the sum of over $1.3 So, All right, let's go on a very short break. When we come back, we we'll continue with our review. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Thanks for staying with us. We're going to move on now to the punch. Uh, we're still taking a story, actually. Yes, yes I have well. the major headline. So, organized labor yesterday called for a total reversal of the past sector privatization and recovery 
of all sold public electricity assets. Now, members of the Nigerian Labor Congress, NLC, and the Trade Union Congress, TUC, made the demands while they were picketing offices of the Nigerian Electricity Regulatory Commission, NEC, in Abuja, and electricity distribution companies, uh, that's DISCOs nationwide. They also demanded an immediate reversal of the April 3, 2024 electricity tariff hike for Ban A customers until certain conditions are met. Now, the terms which workers uh, said are contained in their 2021 and 2023 agreement with the government, which included a review of the privatization of Power Holding Company of Nigeria, PHCN, de dollarization of gas supply for electricity generation, distribution of prepaid meters to all electricity consumers, increase in electricity generation and distribution with an adequate commitment to investment in green and renewable energy sources. So in order to show their seriousness, the NLC and TUC leadership directed all electricity workers to cut off power supply to all NEC and transmission companies of Nigeria, TCN offices. They also went ahead to accuse the Minister of Power, Adebayo Adelabu, of supporting apartheid in Nigeria. They said he should talk less about tariffs and focus on improving electricity generation in total. So they listed you know, everything that um, they are going through in the country regards to electricity. And they are saying that they are not going to step back till that review, especially with this in, a new increment in tariff is reviewed. They are not going to step back. However, NEC had replied and said they have taken everything they've said into cognizance. They are going to be having a meeting soon, and then they'll see how they will readjust this. So I am worried that on one hand, we want to pay cost reflective. On another hand, we are quarreling about it. Uh, how will these people be able to fund themselves? Are we still going back to subsidy, back to back? We're, we're stylishly going back to subsidy. And I don't think that would lift us from where we want to, yeah. where we are to where we want to yeah, go. There has to be a review. I mean, sorry, a downward review somewhat. Because Somehow, that was the, it was too ex exorbitant. It's, it's too much. I'm paying 500,000 Naira. It doesn't make any sense in for, one for, month. For prepaid? For, for, yeah, for, yeah. But band A. Off your life. I'm not paying the bill. <laughs> All the lights in my house are on. They're not the other lights. Off. The off. They've opened the windows now. They open the windows. Yeah. Fresh air. To manage your electricity. They are open our windows. So, but you're lucky you are, you are yes, paying for what you're using. It's like, oh, you're sweating. I'm sweating. You're 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 sweating. <laughs> anyway, let's see. I, I mean, you see, the thing I have, the problem okay, I have. It's not a hot topic, unfortunately. Not, uh, we have to move I, on. My only is that, I have to say it. Yes. Is your earning power is not increasing. Yes, yeah, But your expenses yeah. are increasing. Yeah. So what you have is reducing. <laughs> it's what? This country shall well, not keep us. Can I take her, my own story about oh, the Delta take, woman? Oh, take, take your story, ma. <laughs> Mrs. Ada <laughs> Ocha Idowu, she was founded with her two... Um, uh, with one son and two other sons were unconscious in the apartment. Mm -hmm. They don't know what killed them. Wow. Um, the two um, ones that were unconscious were rushed to the St. Joseph Catholic Hospital. Her sister, who's, who ha one of her own sons was in the, was one of the unconscious ones, says, her si sister doesn't eat noodles, though, and it was not generated of him that she doesn't know what killed her. Mm. That she had served them um, rice and stew the night before, and now, they found said one of the sons woke up, saw that she her lifeless body started pouring water mm. on her, and then his his own limbs started to. Oh. He, that's why he went into unconsciousness. Wow. Too. Wow. So the police are saying they Where's need to do a report if they want an autopsy yeah. to be done. Okay, so I have the story of the opposition parties coming together. So key opposition figures yesterday had a meeting at Atiku Abubakar's house. Uh, he was the presidential. Um, candidate for the PDP, and he was met with Peter Obi, the former Labour Party presidential candidate also, and they also met with Bukola Saraki uh, and, and also the former Jigawa state governor, Sule Lamido. So the idea really is to come back together as a, co as, as, as a coalition. They're speaking on Obi's uh, <clears throat> meeting with Atiku. Paul Iwe said that they discussed proposal for a coalition. He was not conversant with the details. However, the idea really was just to bring the country together and see how they can unite. According to the said, the center of the discussion was for the state of the nation, discuss the state of the nation, and um, how to reduce the suffering of all Nigerians, irrespective of class <coughs> and location. If you recall, mm. it's Albi was in PDP during the elections uh, towards um, the 2023 elections. Then he moved over to Labour Party when they had when he had uh, he couldn't get the ticket. So now everybody's coming together because obviously it's been a year into this administration mm. and they're seeing how they can all come together, hopefully to defeat the ruling party 
in the coming elections, but it's, it's, it's important for them to have a united front. So I'm happy that they started having meetings because that's what democracy is about. Every group must be able to come together and see how they can um, take it apart. Okay. Which is um, not which, um, is it? Atiku's uh, press aide mm, gave yeah. a statement yesterday saying that it was because of Wiki it will be left PDP. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, moving on now to Daily Sun. Either way, so let us see how Daily Sun, electricity tariff hike, organized labor grounds, discos, NERC nationwide. Uh, Governor Baseki urges devolution of power. Merger speculation rife as will be meets PDP chiefs. FG to introduce wage system for workers. Evil women beg FG to halt insecurity killings in Southeast. Crude uh, oil theft. NSCDC uncovers two illegal pipeline connection points in rivers. Enugu seals 100 billion naira deal to revive palm products from. And Tinubu backs gender equality campaign. Okay, story. So let me take the Igbo women. Yeah, so the Igbo women assembly, IWA, IWA, is disturbed over the spate of killings and incessant attacks in Igbo communities by armed hoodlums under the cover of uh, headsmen and other criminal elements. They complained about the operational style of the military troops in the region, whom they alleged had a penchant for arresting any young man and branding the person an indigenous people of Biafra or Eastern Security Network, IPOB, uh, member. They also lamented that many women have been rendered widows by these attackers and military operations in the region. They are appealing to the federal <coughs> government to take another look at the killings and insecurity in the zone. Uh, the president of Iwa, Neka Chimeze, was the one who spoke to newsmen in Enugu, and it was, she was wondering why insecurity and killings had persisted in the area despite the numerous checkpoints across the nation manned by various security agencies. She was urging the operatives to step up their game or allow the people to protect themselves. She said in a situation where security operatives invade and attack innocent Igbo communities, over attacks on them by hoodlums should be stopped. The same way they don't invade other communities in the north, when Boko Haram terrorists attack, they should stop invading the um, Southeast when they have attackers. They're actually there to help protect the people, not to invade them and then start, you know, pointing them out and killing them one by one. He also says that um, uh, the tagging of all Igbo youths as IPOB members just to arrest or kill them is not right at all. Not many of them even belong or even understand what's happening in that regard. So they are saying that, uh, for instance, says she was from Olu in Imo State. They said more, more than 500 youths have been killed there. If you come to some communities in Igbo State, Imo, Imo State, you won't even see a lot of young people because everybody is running away to avoid that. So the federal government needs to do something in, in terms of insecurity, especially in the Southwest. She asked the question, do we take lit General Sanya Bacha's theory that if any insurgency lasts more than a day, that the government is involved? They need the government to speak up on this and help okay. the people in Igbo land. That story. Yeah, I have a story. Um, so the Enugu State Governor, um, Peter Amba, says he has begun tran um, resuscitation of various dormant companies and industries located in different parts of the state. I mean, this story gives me so much joy. It says that, um, first, that um, last week they recorded a huge milestone where they signed a 100 billion naira deal with Pragmatic Palms Limited. So it's uh, it's supposed to resuscitate the moribund Enugu State United Palm Products Limited. And um, this company invests multiple billions of Naira to revive the assets. So what they do really is palm, palm, palm pro produce production, you know, and all that comes with it. He said that this will bring the, the state's economy from $4.4 billion to about $30 billion. This is the moment that they're really and truly proud of. Mm -hmm. You know, they said that this is in keeping with what the governor said when he came in during his campaign, which is to boost the economy of Enugu State. And so he's doing, they, people can see that he's making the doing necessary investments mm -hmm. in these companies. It gives me so much joy, you know, to see that it's not just a legal state yeah. story. Mm -hmm. It's a story yeah. that have other states too that are working uh, with. Nation. So this state governor, Governor Obaseki, has reiterated once again the need to redesign Nigeria's current system to address numerous challenges and place the nation on the path of growth and prosperity. Obaseki was speaking in Benin City, uh, saying that <clears throat> the federal system and over-centralization of power was limiting the nation's capacity to re realize its full potential. He was talking about all the various states since the country's current system has expired. Unless we redesign the system, we will not get the full potential of the country. 
if you are relying on crude, the system should allow you to produce. So if you have crude, Zamfara State has uh, mines and they have gold, they should own their licenses and, and the federal government can help supervise it. And they can even pay six, up to 60% to the federal government, but at least they are mining their own, own minimal resources. We've yeah. been saying this for years. I'm just hoping that indeed the government is able to somehow restructure uh, the country at some point. So the Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps has uncovered two illegal bunkering sites in rivers. It says, they said, um, this was by their spokesperson, uh, Baba Wale Afolabi. He says they found them on the boundaries of rivers and Abia states. Um, the other, uh, one was the boundary of rivers and Abia, and then the other one was the Eche local government. He said that they were made to siphon, they would put the um, connection to the oil heads, mm. and then they buried their thing under the ground, yeah. and they were siphoning oil. Hmm. Said where they discovered it in a place where they had already removed the what do you call bunkering sites, mm. and this one they had buried it. He said in the forest. He uh, said uh, it was discovered in the forest, and the pumping machine was taking five thousand liters locally of locally legal, uh, locally these? refined petroleum in cellophane bag, bags and a reservoir. Mm. Mm. Okay. Vanguard, oh, oh, sorry, you have to go ahead. Yeah. They also recovered about 10,000 liters of kerosene stored in uh, cooking oven, shovels, spades, buckets, and it was a whole... Whole works. Okay. Uh, our last paper this morning, I don't think we have too much time for it. Vanguard, labor protests, we talked about that. CBN will retain high interest rates to tame inflation, says Cardoso. Escalated public service wage bills, increasing cost of governance, says Aquabio. And Timu directs mandatory procurement of CNG powered vehicles. Any story we've not taken? Mm. Okay, I think I just, that's all we can take. Stay with us, we'll be right back. Stay tuned, your view will be right back. Thanks for staying with us. So there was a viral video circulating on social media showing a woman lamenting the demolition notice served on her property in Lagos State. Allegedly, um, she just bought the property two months ago. According to her, they bought the property in February and we've been only there for two months. All the hard work, all the sleepless nights, everything. Um, if you're in Lagos, you know how much property is in the Tiosa. And um, so she was just crying and the video went viral. And what really struck us uh, were some of the comments, you know. Yes, we've been on this table where we've had the various the commissioner um, from Lagos State come on here to tell us the reasons why they're demolishing some of these buildings. We've come on this show to also teach and educate Nigerians on how to ensure they get the right properties. But unfortunately, this woman who just bought her house in February is crying because She's been served demolition notice. Mm. What are your thoughts on this? Because some of the comments that struck us is the fact that people are saying, why invest in Lagos? You shouldn't be buying property there. Um, there are wicked people. Um, you shouldn't be, um, you shouldn't put your money with like, Africans are wicked to each other. The comments are really interesting. So it's just a, it's an, it's an opportunity to have a conversation again to, to help us put things in proper perspective. Let us, you can call us on 81 0702461679, 0902416340. You can also tweet to us at TVC. Can I please hashtag your view TVC so we can read the tweet? All right. What are your thoughts on this video? It was quite yeah. heart wrenching to yes, see a woman. When, yes, and she looks so young. So mm. I'm thinking this is a young, maybe a young couple, you know, starting off their family. They've made some yeah. money, able to get maybe their very <laughs> first property. And then to hear that in only two months, that property, you know, they'll have to vacate the property. And I'm wondering the process that they might. They, went through to get the property did, did they even know what they need to do like the papers that they need to get 
in order to acquire a property. Mm. Um, I think that there are many of us, you know, who don't understand that. It's not enough to just say, oh, I like that place. And the person says to you, okay, it's mine and I'm selling. And But you need to get lawyers involved. There are offices you need to go to make sure that the papers that you're getting, you know, shows you the state of the, of, of the property if you know, that property is even meant to be there, or if there's a <laughs> situation or if there's a problem, you yeah. know, on that property. I don't think a lot of young people who are just coming into their, into their own actually know that. And so they would, are likely to be the ones that are vulnerable to wicked people. You see, our last um, sponsored guest that just left was talking about in Abuja. <coughs> it was, well, you know, you mentioned that, mm. you know, the papers and everything. He says, no, in Abuja, mm. once you start off, you know they, they will come to you to get your necessary papers. So this thing about, you know, people not you know, um, raising property or buying property and then finding out that it's on government demolition list, I think is, I don't want to say peculiar to Lagos, but there's a big problem in yeah. Lagos. People are scamming people on that level. I think yeah. it's even peculiar yeah. to Lagos because it wasn't so, planned. Yeah. Abuja was planned. Remember when Rufai was, take, was in charge? Yeah, yeah, so was I don't Rufai. want to say peculiar to Lagos. I don't know if it's happening in other, other states. states. Apart, you know, Abuja is the only one who can say it's not happening like that. So that's why we will need government to do better in making yeah. sure that people are protected yeah. from yeah. people like this. So there's, a, think, so, well, I'll let you come in. so there's a Lagos master plan. There's yeah. a plan, but it was just never enforced. Because you have people in government who just say, don't worry, don't worry, we'll just find a way to, yeah. to let it. So there's a plan in place, but it was actually not enforced. But in, in, in Abuja, mm -hmm. there's a plan and it has been yeah, enforced. And everybody's aware of the plan and you don't, can't just build anywhere. Uh, what I want to say here is, you see, don't go to Lagos State. When you want to buy the property, don't go to the Lagos State government officials. Mm -hmm. Because that's where you will just enter. One, one chance. chance. <laughs> Get a lawyer. Yes. Mm. The lawyer will property take lawyer. you to, mm. Property, it will take you through each step. Yeah. The lawyer will go and do the due diligence that you can On your behalf, yeah. That if you go and meet an official, the official will say, ah, no, don't worry. Sometimes you will see they are built, uh, you will see some cement or something or bricks on the land. You say, ah, what's this? They say, ah, don't worry. Uh, they, they will say, ah, no, don't worry. It's just before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they are just, because everyone is interested in himself. What they can get. Not about you. Yeah. So when you first put that one in perspective, everybody's fighting for yes, yeah. myself, yeah. not for you. Yeah. Then you will now, before you go and buy the property, you will check. Because I, I, I really feel sorry for yeah. those people from the Mende. The, Maryland. Oh, oh. Yes, yeah, those were, um, the property was sold by the real estate developers. Yeah. Yeah. Those real estate developers, they are only taking of their pockets. Yes. Mm. Hey. They're not going to return your money. Then they will now come and yeah. Mm. I have sent a video to the group where, where the commissioner himself had a meeting, yeah. telling them, hey, "Listen, these places you guys are building, you don't have your, you don't have papers. Asking them, do you have the paper? Mm -hmm. He said, I don't have it. Do you have paper? He said, I don't have it. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. yeah, and they go ahead and go ahead. Yeah. Moraya, you mm -hmm. see that video? That, those were the developers, yeah. not the tenants. The tenants, yeah. God bless the you. The people that bought the house. Yes. yes. So those ones. Yeah, the culprit, yeah. Yes, they are the culprits. They are the ones. Yeah, that, that's, that's how to make your money and go. Agungi, you will see the house. Houses are built on the canal. Mm. So lucky floods. Agungi floods. Hey. So if they come there, they are definitely going to be demolishing a lot you, of you, yeah. you, you, you understand what I'm saying? Hey. And it's somebody that sold the land to them. Yeah. yeah. Someone that sold the to them. They relocated, I'm sure. Many of them have from yeah, so, yeah, so really they sell in the gather the money and they carry and they the go. To Canada. So when I saw the video, um, I was really pained because I understand what it means to, especially in these times, mm. to mm. count money mm. and buy a property. And I know one of the reasons many people want to buy their own property is it takes away that rent that you're paying every year. Every year as you're counting school fees, you're counting rent and all of that. But if you have your own property, you know that half of your problems, especially in a, a city like Lagos, is solved. Even if you drink Gary in your bedroom, nobody yeah. knows and all of that. And I remember when I was, you know, we're about to get our own property. It was Nima who yeah, I contacted as a lawyer that I see what's happening. You know? So she did a search. That's what they call doing a search. Me, I know that I don't have energy to go into government's mm -hmm. office to go and be asking. Even if they cheat me, I would not know. So she handled it. She kept, you know, there was a particular place we saw that I really loved, you know. But then she came back and said, ah, there's a problem in this property. Mm. Government wanted to do something, something, something in this property and all of that. It didn't pain me. But I had to let go. Of course, I'm not working yeah. to come and throw away my mm. money. Yeah. But also, I realized that sometimes you even do that search and you don't really see anything. So this is why I'm going to be holding government accountable. Absolutely. You don't allow things to, to, to decay oh. very badly. Then when you wake up, 
every other person pays for it. Yeah. You must be responsible, first of all. Make the plants known. There are certain areas that they have earmarked for. There was a particular a property I was looking at at the time, just a plot of land. They had earmarked the place for um, agriculture in the next how many years? On the island there. And people are selling. People are already building there. Do you know, I, was, I even bought, I had bought before I did the search, right? But then fully is a plot of land. They've been calling me now, come and put block, come and build something. Me, I know that I'm not going to put 50 cobble yeah. on that land yeah. because any day government wakes up, sure. they will demolish yes. everything that is there. But the last time I went to check the place, people have built mm. houses, mm -hmm. so, you know? And, and it's either they really don't know, know. Or they know and they feel governments will not wake up. Or next 20 yeah. years. Or next 20 or, years. Or as we, I think what's happening, developers understand that governments will come. But they're thinking, I'll raise this property, sell it, make my money, then those people will face government. Sort out themselves. Government. So mm. you are deliberately scamming people. Yeah. That's, That's why it's wicked. It's a scam. Yes. Yes. And, and again, you see, another part i like us to touch on is the fact that we Nigerians sometimes, we don't like to take that extra effort in doing the due diligence. Yeah. So you know, something as simple as, getting hired in TVC. You want your daughter to work in TVC. Okay, you don't go online, www.tvc.com, are you hiring? You don't, you don't bother to check because, hey, I know Mariah now. Just call mm -hmm. Mariah. Mariah, please, just I want, to, I want to, can you hire her? Let her just come over. That will come too. I'll be the one to help her print out her CV. I'll do everything for her. <laughs> She'll say, you know, something, something basic. I was, I was, I, I, I'm the, people saw my picture on a, on a university pro promo for a university. They saw the promo, the promo had phone numbers, it had links, it had webs, it had everything. Yeah. No, I was like, oh, I know Mariah, you call Mariah's number. I'm like, they paid me for it, I have no clue. Mm. Doing that extra work of yeah. www.information, how do I find it? They don't, they, they, they don't trust it. They just, we want something that is tangible, I know Mariah, let me mm. call her. Just hold I, I, do, I, don't, I don't want to go online to be asking, because the truth is that, if you check online or you go, you'll find out you, some of this information are available. Yeah, yeah. If you check it, but it's just a check. We don't, we don't want to. We just rather call somebody. Yeah. Okay, I'm sending your stuff to you. Hire her, let her just start working. It doesn't work that way. And There's a process. Yeah, if you can't do but, it, but I want you can to... also get somebody to help you do it. Get a professional mm -hmm. who handles it to help you. I want to agree with you in the fact that government shouldn't allow it to go on. They should be watching it. When you yeah. don't see... Mm -hmm. Because it is so painful to have to build it, um, yeah. property, to build property and then... They will come and demolish, demolish yeah. it. It's no compensation. It's yeah. painful. I mean, look at how that woman is crying. Yeah. She's, she has a problem. She's saying her son, what is she going to tell her children? Mm -hmm. yeah. New house. New house. Do you know they would have spent money? They would have uh, yeah. they, they, all the things that they put inside interior the house, deck, interior TV, deck everything. Yeah. Now, where are they going to go? That, that's just on yeah, the one, right. one level. No, they, now, where are they going to go? They, they have probably used all their money. Exactly. Before, now when you're buying a property, it's basically all and your again, money. Also, if you remember that there was someone some was telling me something, that um, back then, before, before the, the president, when he was governor, he went to go and help to reclaim that lucky area. That, it was all beach, it was all sand. Okay. We were all growing up saying that there was nothing there. He had to go and um, negotiate with the, with the, with the others that, listen, let us develop. Let us, have, let us have development in this area. And that's how we started the building. Mm -hmm. But people have... They've, they've, they've taken advantage of this, this lucky area and built on areas that shouldn't be built on. Yeah. But unfortunately, government did not wake up on time. Yes. And, and they've been allowing them. Some parts of government so, enabled them. Of course. Well. Some of them are even corrupt, collecting yeah. money from these exactly. enablers. So they're all part of it. Yes. Everybody's a COVID. So but you know, unfortunately, now, my question is, now that government has woken up, mm. who should take responsibility? Mm. Should government compensate? How does government mean, say, okay, okay, we have a part in this, so yeah. mm. let us give you this amount of money. Let us help you. Mm. It was our people that gave you the wrong documentation. Yes. Or it was our people our that fault. enabled this. It was our fault. Mm. Can, can we hold government accountable in this I regard? I believe so. I, I would hope so. You know, I'm not a lawyer, but I would hope so that the government will be co-conspirators. Yeah. Because if a person can show papers that yeah. have been given by the state government yeah. and signed by the office, then definitely you are aware that that person, you, you know, you are aware of that building being erected on, on that land yeah. or, the, or that particular property. And so if a person is able to take them to court, you know, I feel that government should be able to pay something. And because government always gets away, 
you know that's why it doesn't bother them if someone loses their job or is made to pay a huge amount of money maybe they'll be more careful next time when people come and get all these kind of shady papers it's unfair really to have people just bear the brunt all the, by themselves oh, and then the developers yeah. themselves how are they able to get away i hope that you know you still have information on those who have sold this to you so you can drag them from wherever they are they must pay for this it's unfair it's let me take right. this call from ray it's calling from allen good morning ray yeah, good morning, Lenny. Good morning, you're live. Yeah, good morning, Mariah. Good morning, Jenny. Good I'm morning. In the studio. Yeah, um, <laughs> you know, um, I, watch, I actually watched the, the, the clip. You know, it's so pathetic. Right? In, in this um, side of the world, and things like this will be happening. But I might want to say that the problem is not the builder. There are times when you go, all these government officials, because of corruption and the money they want to keep, you go there and they know what is there. Like, there's a lady, a lady in the studio that said, at times, when you go there, you see, there are times you go to the studio search, you don't see the, all, all those things mm. being put there. And you go ahead and pack away with money. It's more easy to come up and certain lady crying. One thing I want to say is that those government officials, are the ones that they are cryptic there. They collect money and hide some information. And they don't give you all what they want to do. They do not approve that because you wouldn't, you wouldn't tell me that. No, by the time you, anyway you want to kill, by the time you start your foundation, you just see them pop from nowhere, they'll come and mark seal for you to pay unnecessary dues. And by the time you fish, this thing and erecting this structure, the same people will come and mark those structures yeah. for the musician. Thank you very much, Ray. It's, it is also a collapse of local government function. Yeah. You know, because just like you say in Abuja, before you even start, yeah. somebody's not as if we is the one watching. There are people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Same here, the local governments should be empowered to know when something is coming up. You come and ask questions before you even go too far. Yeah, so, you know, um, when I was in Texas, um, I went past some areas where I saw that they had condoned off mass. The land was so massive, like mm -hmm. I was wondering what was going on there. And, you know, my sister was explaining that this is government, uh, government has a plan for this government place. reserved area. Yes, reserved area. They may not even touch it in the next hundred years, but nobody dares to go to that place. Now, the government knows the areas they want reserved. For certain, whether it's for the canal they want to build or for the bridge they want to build tomorrow, what's stopping them from marking those areas? What? what? Nothing. That's also a part of their responsibility. You mark it off. If any developer will get seven, seven head enters that place, then you arrest the person and ask what you're looking for there. Uh, That's one handle. Did... Let me just finish. Then also, um, some of these properties have uh, family involved in it. So some of these properties are actually family properties. I don't know how families own properties, you know. I have a family that own property. I didn't know how they came about it. But I guess it was my grandfather's, yeah. you know, property and all of that. Now... The government may want to use that family property for something, and the family is not aware. Then the family decides to start selling their property because they need money. They sell to innocent citizens. Now, government comes back tomorrow and reclaims the property that is, after all, government owns everything. They can take anything they want at the time that they want it. So the stakeholders involved, whether the government wants a particular property that belongs to a family, they should tell the family that we are a max this property. We are going to be using it for agriculture in 100 years. I think there's a law come. that after 100 years, and the then, government can create yes, yeah. yeah. so it. Before up the law, it. even yeah. before the law. So the particular one I bought now, I bought from a family. Years. 99 years. Right? Yeah. I bought from a family. A family sold to me. The family did not tell me that government was, uh, had earmarked the place for agriculture till I paid the family. Now I went to do a search and found out that that place is a no-go area. But then family had collected money from me. So it's not just a conversation of you have to ask the indigenous of the place and discuss with the owners if you need as a government to pay them off for that area and then you keep it and reserve it. When those areas are reserved, nobody will go there and remove what government has put to start yeah. selling to people. That's one way the government must protect their people. Let me well, take uh, uh, this call. I'll come to you. Like. I have a call. Good morning. Thanks for calling your live. Good morning. I'm a first time caller. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Um, I think people need to do their research properly. I live in an estate that is quite old. And our estate manager has told us for a long time that a portion of the land is going to be removed. So now they marked it for the mention of the star road and told us that it has been like that for a while. 
Now they are putting the places that are used to the world. They put for sale on that business for two, three years. People who build butter around that place, it's telling people who come and inspect the house not to buy that house mm. because it's marked for demolition. Wow. To my surprise, last month they were sold, the they were sold, they were sold, they were sold, they were And it's marked for demolition now. It has been a road more than 10 years in the government plan. This, I met a lawyer who, who administers one of the properties around here. And I was angry that the owner has refused to sell the property thing. If not, they wouldn't have destroyed, they wouldn't have taken over the land. So there are people who know and are willing to sell it for to, 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 to unsuspecting buyers. I just feel for them because it's going to be destroyed and they are really very willing to sell it. Thank you very People much, Vivian. People need to do that to stop the local around. Thank you very much, Vivian. Yeah, I didn't hear a lot of yeah. I'm sure our viewers probably heard that properly. Mm. But, um, you know, you know, you, the truth is that Lagos is a city that gets visitors thousands every day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They all can't go and sleep under the bridge. They all come to Lagos because they want to be successful. They, they, they squat with an uncle for a while. After a few years, they have enough money. They want to buy their own house and build houses. Mm -hmm. So there's a demand, whether we like it or not. People yeah. want to build houses. Now, is either government begins to build up, because that's what they were doing abroad. People were having projects where uh, now have high-rise buildings. High -rise buildings. Because you can't, you can't keep all, we can't keep occupying one one land, exactly. one family. It doesn't make oh, any bungalow. sense. Mm. Have bungalows spread across towns. It doesn't make any sense. We have to start going up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because that's the only way we can accommodate the influx of people across the nation Lagos. coming in daily. This yeah, city no. cannot accommodate it anymore. Um, you see, the thing is, Lagos gone, we, we did not, this master plan that you are talking about, yeah. they did not stick to it. They gone, they are not sticking to it. Mm. Because I want to give you an example of Ikoi. Ikoi is all, it's supposed to be um, yeah. low houses. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But what do you have there now? Yeah, high, high rises. High rise so the people with the low, low houses, you, you have people looking into your house. Because yeah. that was not really the, plan. the master yeah. plan. Yeah. Mm. So when they want to give people approval to build those houses, go to new areas. Mm -hmm. Let them go to new areas. Don't give them the place that... Yeah. You can't go and do high rise in Lake Eo. Hey, yeah, eh? water yeah, area. No. They're not. Yeah, but, it's but, only, but, like the hardest ground you can but, do that. But, 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 uh, but I was doing uh, high rise by uh, that place by the bridge now. I'm sure they have re re sure, yeah. reclaimed land. Yeah, well, but that's true. Depending reclaimed land. They, well, anyway, Dubai has reclaimed, reclaimed land anyway. So they have mm -hmm. high rise in Dubai. But... So I the guess, high rise in, you're, you're right. Yeah. I mean, we need to start, in Lagos states, buildings have to start going up. But, you know, for me, it's not even about that. This particular conversation is about those who are scamming people, knowingly, deliberately scamming people. Yeah. So you mentioned, you know, buying lands from family. Mm. People have, we know, people who um, own land have been known to sell to people knowing fully that government is not, you know, has reserved those particular areas. So it's not just the government, even the community people are in on it. Yes. This is a major scam that's going around. Government needs to do better in making sure that, you know, they are able to um, find these people that sell properties to people like that. Um, there's a, that's on one hand. Then we have the developers, because there's this particular building that's going up. I don't want to say it's here, but um, that building has been reported. You see government has signed, you know, put a, X, an X, X on it. Mm. At night, they work. They work. They keep building they that. They don't care. They keep building that property at night. So what's going to happen if government is not doing the work, you know, paying attention um, um, frequently, is that they, they will finish that, mm. sell to unsuspecting people, and then a few years later, government appears and they're in trouble. Yeah. So government cannot just do the job once in three years. You have to be there Follow every day. other day to make call. sure that people are not going behind your backs and you take it home, Justice. Good morning, Justice. You're live. Thanks for calling. Ooh, I lost that caller. I mean, you're, you're very... See, some of these people see land that is bare. I mean, there's a land in my, my mom's... Um, in my mom's house. It's been there forever. When we moved there in the 80s, it was there and it's still there to tomorrow. Nothing, I has, don't, happened. No, nothing has happened. I don't know who owns the land. We don't know who... We just know the land has been there. Mm -hmm. Now, we don't know... The, the, the point is that somebody can be very... On a unscrupulous person can just say, you know what, I'll go and sell the land to somebody. Yeah. Someone start building, and maybe the real owner or even government says, don't build in this area because yeah. of the, there could be a reason. Mm -hmm. I don't even know the reason. Mm -hmm. But I know that was never, ever used. So we need to also be careful. Before you start putting out money, hey. 
get a lawyer first. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. The lawyer will do the due diligence for you before you start buying because don't just go to pay to any family mm -hmm. because the, the people are very unscrupulous yeah. mm -hmm. and they believe that the next 30 years government is not ready because once government and, wakes up, government, and, and unfortunately yeah. the law will support government. If government has woken up to its responsibilities, oh, sometimes sometimes there's some all land, any land yeah. that you buy, yeah. your first of all, no. It's 99 years. Yes, after yeah. that. Land, so just start counting from the day you buy it. Yes. Government, 99 years. Yeah. Yes, you come back. To revert. Yes. Government. True. I have a Olabi for my Bella. Good morning, Olabi. Hello, good morning, Olabi. You're live. Good morning. And get some right. volume. Uh, volume. What really happened, I think, is the government of the chair. What we are discussing really happened to They wanted to solve a complex. I went to go and do my own search. Later, I discovered that they are about to start a two days on that road from Aku <laughs> Shasha Road. So they are, they have to go. Even the person that I said that are not facing free deal and that they cannot have the to arrest it at the back. I said, there's no way they were arrest or cannot have the back and this complex at the front. I call someone again from inside that through real uh, in Kawas. So the guy called me that, okay, well, I what you are doing now. That thing, there's a part of two lanes going from Akuma to Shasha. I have to go extra man and search everything. At the end of the day, the developer just wants to sell the complex and just go away. Because they have already get the story that goes to their building, it's really just to sell for and just move away. So the government official really accomplished all these things. They have accomplished all this. They accomplished. Thank you. I have a very, very legal. Whoa. <laughs> we didn't, we didn't hear that. him very clearly, but I'm sure our viewers probably heard him. we having issues um, here in the studio. But yes, let's take a few comments before we wrap up on this segment. Okay, Oladidi says, I'm not a fan of the high-rise structure in Nigeria. High-rise, no electricity, no water. The risk increases tremendously in emergency situations. <laughs> Um, Corey says, since the space in Lagos is getting jam-packed, hence I made the suggestion, I think he has suggested that Lagos and Ugu come together so that they will now be called the Lagoon State. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> looking <laughs> for trouble. Uh, no space, exactly. <laughs> Moses um, Lawal says, a portal was launched some months back to allow people verify their status of land in Lagos State and put the link landonline.lagosstate.gov.ng. So, it's going to help you. Lagos State, I want to buy a property. In Lagos State, please yeah. just make sure. So we're going to repair, okay, okay, repairers uh, light chapel says Nigerians should do the right thing. People should go to serve your general office in Alausa Ikeja. They told us the land we bought at Ukwanja is under accusations, and many people know about that. So uh, the, 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 the uh, officials too, you know, they too. You see, and that's where I would want the government to act on. When a person like this woman has a problem. Who sold her the land yeah. first? Yes, start to start to prosecute yes, these people. Yeah, yeah. Sure. You know, if they if they, they too will stop it. Yeah. Go to where they she bought the land. Who gave her the approval? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Who gave them the approval so that this kind of thing, this kind of scams will not happen? Because this is a poor young girl. Hey. What is she going to do? Yeah. I, I, I would hate to be in her position. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah, I would hate to be in her right. position. Um, I, there I see houses. You know that you are supposed to give a lay-by for, from the road. I can't remember how many meters. Mm -hmm. They will build it on the road. Yes, mm -hmm. The government will now come and come knock and the wall down. Knock the road. You say they are knocking your house down. You will start build crying the house on the yeah. road. Yeah. And if we keep allowing just the people who are, you know, who have bought the properties to be the sole um, victims. victims of this situation. Bear well, the brunt. Yes, to bear the brunt. You keep having scam, yeah. scams like this because they know that they will get they away will get with, to it. with it. All right, that's all we work on it, please. That's all we can take on this. We just hope that, you know, she's somewhat compensated either by government or family somehow because it's really painful to have that kind of investment and see it demolished just in two months. Let's go on a short break and we'll come back with our next topic. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back.
Thanks for staying with us. So many Nigerians in the last one week or so have received their Band A bills. Many of them are clamoring on social media on all the uh, bills that is coming through for them. Um, and we're going to open our phone lines right now for Nigerians to call in to tell what exactly are you doing concerning this Band A, new Band A lifestyle, Band A rules, Band A scheme, Band A methodology, Band A system, your house. What are you putting in place? Um, how are we going to, I don't want to say resist this or fight this, or how are we going to let them know how we are feeling? It is pinching our blood. You can call us on 0810764-1679-090241634460. You can also tweet to us at TVC Connect. Please hashtag your view TVC so we can read your tweet. This show, this moment right now, is for you to express your thoughts on the band A experience mm. that your family loved ones are going through please we'd like to hear your views Waiki, let me start with you ah, please, how is your band a <laughs> ah, I'm, is... Waiting, I'm just sending my secretary a text as i'll never be come let me, let me... <laughs> so i mean i, I was telling <laughs> you guys mine came it was actually four hundred and eighty thousand naira for the month of april That's and that was like similar to all the other members <laughs> yeah. now so we have this small mini estate about 12 of us mm. and We've not paid you. We're still here. We're still looking at ourselves. Everyone's just, we don't even know what to do. So, I don't know. Just, how, how, are you sure you're prepared? We're not prepared. We're not prepared. We're, not prepared. we're on we're we're postpaid. Post post because yeah. the bill comes. Bill Normally, comes. you buy your card and Oh, prepaid. Yeah, it's what we had yeah. in the previous house. Yeah. But, oh, yikes. Yeah. So, we should get pre We don't have a meter. So, yeah. we have the check meter. They have a meter that sure. for all of us, mm -hmm. right? And there's something called a check meter where you can now know which, um, what each of you are consuming. Okay. So they now multiply your consumption with the rates. Mm. And what was, 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 was crazy, ah, it was outrageous. Was, but were you the only people with that kind of high bill? No, yeah, all of us, we think it was about all of 410, 406, all of that. Like, we had the highest, of course, Brown was not having it. In my house, <laughs> but so right now, in my house right now, the rules are, every, all the windows are open. As I speak to you, all the windows are open. Usually we leave, the, we locked up all our windows. All the air conditions are on in the afternoon. No air conditioners in the afternoon. Air conditions go on only when you're ready to sleep. Mm. Now, the kids can come to my room to sleep, but we allow them to use their own AC. But heater, only my heater is allowed. Okay. And you want to have a bath with warm water, come to come my to room, your room to yeah. bath. Okay. You know, you no more. Room. Then all that washing, back to back, every day washing. You stopped heavy. It was now Saturdays and Wednesday. Now, washing is only Saturdays. Yeah, but you still wash the same volume. You would have washed Yeah, it. but you That's see, now we are splitting it. So the ones you can use your hand to wash, you okay, wash. You wash okay. The ones that are washing machine, we wash, wash. But wash. all of us, and now everybody to come pack clothes to wash yeah. because we cannot all start uh, okay. putting anything in washing machine anymore. So that's let, what you're yeah, doing. That's what I'm doing. What are you doing? Oh, no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not part of you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm prepaid. And oh, then so also you, we're so on band B, but we're actually band it because we're supposed to be on band B, but we don't get the light. Mm. Mm. So our own, our, yes, we're band it because <laughs> our own is, please give us this light. Mm. But you know, this conversation just made... Uh, you don't have light in Alaka Estate. Oh, I feel... Do you know we are, we are House of Reps? We have carried our problem to the House of Reps now. Wow, that's that's, how the le be. that's at the level that we're dealing with the mm. issues in Alaka Estate. So sometimes, oh, you know, they'll give us... Yes, they'll give us light, you know, enjoy it for a bit, you start to get comfortable, then they take it. Before you know it, it's one structure, infrastructural issues, issues really, I think is what is happening to us. But, um, you know, I was just thinking this new bill is that be careful what you ask for. What came to me? You know, a lot of us were like, give us the light, we'll pay, we'll pay it. for it. We know what, at least we see it and then we pay for it. So um, now we understand that electricity is expensive. So there are two things. Since it's not something that they have put a gun to our heads, then you change your band, Abby. Can't you pot? You <laughs> pot from a, from a higher band to, to a, a lower band. band. That's one. Yeah. Yeah. So, and then second, the lifestyle there. changes that you're, you're doing right now is important. You know, turning off the lights, turning off your ACs, is <laughs> something that we don't do here. It's so hard. You just want to walk into a cold room, so you switch the AC no, before. I, I you don't switch do that. the AC. We don't do that. You switch the AC before, so that when you walk no, in, it's we don't cool. do that. I'm not, I'm not careless. No, I'm, I'm not even talking of just you. Just mm, generally, generally. Nigeria, Nigerians. That's yes, we're very careless. We have, you know, towards how we use electricity. So now we understand how expensive our lifestyle is, and we'll make those necessary adjustments. Mm. But also, uh, we've read in the papers that. Um, um, the electricity companies, whether uh, have been known to overcharge, especially yeah. for those on postpaid. Post yeah. So, for me, it will be for you to go to their offices and make sure that you're not being overcharged. 
mm. for what they have yeah. given you. Because yeah. we postpaid when there's light, when there's no light, you're still billed. <laughs> Yeah. That's what happened. So let me, let me take Festus from K2. Thanks for calling Festus. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Go ahead, your life, sir. Enough water. We have enough water to service in Nigeria. Why can't we put hydro? We have enough river. Cross river, you move okay, hydro. No down. Yes. Why must we go for gas? Because when the prices are up. Then they are bound to increase your, your, your electricity because that is the source of, you know, powering that light. Then, let me tell you, there is slavery in Nigeria. This is slavery? What? Slavery. Slavery in Nigeria. How so? They were colonized by the white people. Now we are the one colonizing ourselves. <clears throat> is it compulsory that Somebody must put you where you don't belong. They say they put you on by and they say compulsion is mandatory. Can't you have that freedom, that choice? Mm, you can choose. Based on your pocket. Mm. You can choose. It is slavery. Yeah. It is yeah. slavery. Yeah. When you are being forced to take something, yeah. it's black man or black man slavery. Let me tell you, they cannot supply 20 hours, 24 hours. They are in you mm. because you have no choice. Yeah, than to stay there. And we say we are democracy. Mm. What type of democracy? Now, give me time. Let me contribute to your, your former. Uh, yeah. this, this, uh, Thank, former you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Festus. You know, you know, what, based on what he said, it should make us choose what yeah. band we want to be, number one. Number two, I and, and I, I, sorry? Wasn't, isn't it a choice? No, it's not a choice, though. Push people into the Based on the ability to pay, those who, especially those estates and groups, areas. areas that have been consistent in payment, they feel that, okay, you have the money, you're in band yeah, But now, he said something that I think was also important. The, the minister himself said, we need money. They are, they are not liquid. Mm. They need money to fix the infrastructure that's been dilapidated for years. Mm. Okay, can't you ask us to donate money for you? So that you mm -hmm. keep paying. Create, no, don't, don't give us a, let, let, create a fund. Nigerians, we need liquidity to pay. Donate at your own discretion. Donate money. Instead of billing me. No, that's the donation. No, no, no. That's, no, that's, they don't bill me times four what I'm paying. No, so, no, no, so, so me, I'm not using that light. You want me to put money in the fund for you that you're using by, uh, by... You know, every Nigerian wants electricity. Yes or yes, no? Yes, yes. The infrastructure to give us better electricity mm -hmm. is moribund. Okay. To get the money to fix it, get Nigerians... Tax us. Give us a, this electricity tax. I would rather pay a certain percentage of tax no. than you billing me times four because no, I used to pay 100,000 naira. I used to pay 120 maximum before. Now you gave me a bill of 480,000. Where am I going to get the money no, from? So, so it's not practical. Right? How is it not practical? It's no, tax. No, no, no. Listen, we don't tax need to pay tax for it. We need to, tax. We need to pay for what we use, which is why they started this cost reflective payment. The problem is a lot of us are still not paying. We're still not, um, we're paying, but we're not using, we're not getting what we're paying for. There are lots of people that in that band A have complained that they've barely even seen light since they started. But it's then, be 20 hours, exactly, right? some are not getting up to 20 hours, some are not getting up to 10 hours, but they have increased the price. So the way to balance it is, Shebi is business. This is business. We're seeing it as a social uh, welfare scheme. Electricity is not social welfare. It is business. So I buy light the way I buy my data. I use it. I'm paying for it. Now I can choose. That's why they're asking that everybody gets a meter. So I can prepared choose. Meter, prepared meter. So I can choose whether to put on my light, use yes. it or not. If I'm traveling, I pack up my house, yes. and my electricity stays there still. I come, yes. I come back, right? Yes. Yes. So the problem is, Get the infrastructure ready. That's what I would have said before. You don't have the money to get it ready now. That's what they are saying. Why did they send that to them now? Get well, well NEC is the one that is... You, you see, the, you see the problem is when they privatize this thing. Mm -hmm. They came in as businessmen without the knowledge of electricity. Cecily, I did like confirmed so, that. So now, we are not the one... They bought it to be enjoying and living large. Mm -hmm. We are not the people Surprise. that they are now... You're turning the suffer suffer yes. Thing. Why? Let me add something small. Let me, let me, before you add, let me take Tony. He's been holding for a while. Good morning, Tony. You're live. Oh, we lost that call. I'm sorry, sorry Tony. Go ahead, Tony. So, um, I use a generator, and I use a solar system, as well as electricity, right? And I've calculated that if I have light 24 hours a day, 
I will spend less compared to what I'm spending now using the generator and the a solar and inverter panel because from time every few months I have to change my inverter batteries and all of that. That one is costing serious money. Then the diesel that I'm buying alone is running like when you're mentioning figures, I just laugh because I'm running almost the same thing. And I also have a problem with the currency, uh, the um, current very low, which I cannot pump my uh, uh, water for using the washing machine. So I have to resort to generator for certain things, right? But if in my calculation, if I'm giving I'm able to pay cost reflective, for instance, and I opt to be in band A. I will still save money compared to what I'm spending now with the additional generator and um, mm -hmm. um, uh, solar inverter panel and all of that. So the idea is it's business. Now you know how to ration as you buy, you are able to ration it. Nobody is calculating money based off of, because this is your bill now that they've given to you. It's possible some people who have stolen connected lights in different areas. All the bills, see, everything that comes into the meter is what com comes into the transformer, is what comes to your estate, and they share it accordingly. Some persons who may have had opportunity to steal, maybe not in your estate, maybe people from outside who are living around the estate who are able to steal electricity, all that one is calculated into what you're paying in your estate. That's how it's done for spade. But prepared is what I use. Now, nobody will advise me to put on my generator, uh, to put on my electricity, or to put on my um, AC, nobody. I, I already calculated in my head that at some point this will not be on, this will not be on, so I can manage it. But at the end of the day, I'm getting good power supply. The yeah. problem is you put people on those bands and they're not getting good power supply and you are billing them already. That's why a lot of Nigerians are quarreling. Okay, wait, but let's there's see this wait, 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 as a business. Wait, wait, there are two things. Okay. I think you're saying two things at the same time. Okay. The first part, people like me, mm. right, yeah. where you get a bill. Yeah. Because it's different, paid. postpaid, yeah. right? You get a bill, that's where we're having issues. That's where, that's where because I am, I'm, I'm using electricity on their own, they provide electricity, yes. is in my house. Yes, whether and I now like build, it or not. Whether I don't like it or not. Yeah. Now they prepaid, even though you're on band A, mm. you can still regulate. How you use it. How you use your band yes. A. So if I says, I'll give you 20 hours. Mm -hmm. Thank you, I don't need 20 hours. I'll use only five hours for yes. you. And I'll use and the rest for battery. Hours. And I'll use the others for inverter. However it is, you decide. Yeah. So you have control. Yeah. Unfortunately, many of us don't have meters. Yes. So we're having That's to depend on this postpaid yeah. system that gives us electricity. We appreciate it, but now you're billing us extremely premium for yeah, it. So I'm give us power, give us uh, meter. Give us the thing thing is, if they're going to give you, if you're on band A, for instance, yes. and they give you five hours, they will bill you for that five hours. Yes. It I mean, will still be high. It may not be 500K like yes, you have now, yes. but it's five but hours. It will still be high. Yes. Mm -hmm. If they give you, but you see, the thing is, if they give you 20 hours and you're not buying diesel, <sighs> You will. It's a lot cheaper. You will. Re, you, you will you start to save money. Yes. You will start to I've save money because that diesel hey, that you are buying don't go there. is mad. Don't go there. Diesel generator repairs hmm. everything. And, and maybe you don't buy car. because of your eh? The noise unco of the generator. Ah. Go, 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 all those ones, you know, they are the fumes unco. Even you don't even need solar. If you are getting. If they are giving you the electricity, so yes. all those expenses. Uh, out of additional it. expenses. You can pay your electricity bill. Uh, no. My okay, own let me take a pause. I think I have Stella. Stella, thanks for calling your life. I'm oh. so sorry. I kept Stella on. Okay, go ahead. Mm. So, so, <laughs> go ahead. Okay. Brian. So I was just thinking, right, with the postpaid, um, if government is still unable to meet up people, then they have to find a way to, <laughs> you know, cut down the cost of electricity. Because I don't understand why many people still haven't gotten meters at this, you know, till, till date. It should be widespread campaign to make sure that every house is metered so that everybody understands that they are being fairly, um, you know, fairly um, priced. Do you understand? Um, if I'm on postpaid and I have to wait on estimations of, you know, the yeah. electric, uh, electricity companies and I'm supposed to get 20 hours, I'm not getting the 20 hours, and yet I'm getting bills like this. And it's not even just about having diesel um, gens or petrol gens or um, the inverters and things like that. Because if you put it together, it will still, it will still come to about the same price. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm looking at you yeah. yours specifically, 480. If, were, if you had a prepaid uh, meter, 
you had your gen, you had whatever. It will still amount to the same. Do you understand the same amount? I don't think that there's any yes. difference in costs, really, because the 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 but I will the, to manage fees, it better. the tariffs are really the same. tariffs are really high. Mm -hmm. So um, I think that government has to rethink this um, hike in tariffs and make sure that people are metered first. Then it will not be on the person using using their light, do you understand, to manage how they use it and how much it is that comes to them to pay. And then in that case, I don't think someone will come out and be screaming their heads off, you know, because I understand that I have used my light based off on, you know, how I've used it. And so the amount I'm getting, the fees I have to pay for it is based on how I'm using my light. But this postpaid thing, mm. I, used, I was on postpaid for yeah. a long time, and I know how much the back and forth we went because yeah. it was not reflective of yeah. my... Of my use, exactly. it was also me, reflective of the amount of electricity we, I was getting. Let me yeah, take this call from Benita. Right? Let me, Benita's been holding. Good morning. Thanks for calling, Benita. Good morning. Morning, yes. I'm Benita. Go ahead, Mamikiti. So, in my, in my period, we, we, we use um, solar in the morning. Solar, okay. I use solar all through. Then, in the evening, I only use to cook when I come back from work. In the morning, when my children are going to school, I use. I use the light, and after that, I switch to solar. So in a month, or on band A, so in a month, we use total, we use space about 25,000 euros. Have you so gotten April? Are you, did you get April's bill? Have you gotten April's bill? No, she's this poster is uh, prepaid. Prepaid, okay. Prepaid, yeah. prepaid, okay, prepaid. I'm on prepaid, yes, oh, okay. yes. People so in two weeks, we use 5,000 euros. <laughs> mm. Yeah, no fact. So I got I've just got it on my own. Yes. How much uh, is it? Is it killing? They've sent it to you. That's is the it killing? <laughs> One point. Lord of hey. Jesus. Hey. Well, it's not bad, though. I mean, yeah. you've got to three million before. You've got to three million before now. Why is it on this table? Uh, no, yeah. but... That's business. It's <laughs> Why yeah. is the business? The business is paying for it. This you business. Know? But when you're in your house and you're just chopping that money and you see that bill, it's, it's different. Hey. <laughs> I don't even... I'm, 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 every day I come to the house, I'm confused. Mm. You know, when you come so to... When you mentioned that bill, I was yes. like, with the way you've started, you know, putting off the ACs, you know, making what sure... What that will reflect in yes. May? It's April. It's April that we were, we were waiting for the... No, two was two. 25 or 26. Okay. And they move it down to 2006 now. Okay. So I think two, this month of May, to be 206, they multiply by. But I think in April, they multiply by 225, which was the original um, tariff that they okay. said. So are you saying that it would go down? That's possible, it's but even though it shouldn't be that high, because they're telling me I use 1,600 and something kilowatts, and I'm thinking, where, how? How? Hi. And they have to multiply that. It was 1,609. I remember I made how the calculation. How many do you have? I have two televisions. I have three, but only two are functional. Mm. Fridges. Only one and one freezer and one freezer. So freezer now, so we're turning it off. Okay. So the freezer, what we do now is that we turn it off during the day. You turn off your freezer. Turn off your freezer during the day. So in the day, because you're open and open, no, no, leave it at night. So it you freezes have overnight. Like, it freezes, right? So it freezes, yeah. It, like, like so it freezes now. overnight. So throughout the day, because they're opening and closing, we leave it off. So to conserve power. Yeah. Then I turn it on at night. So it's, you stay, for that, for that eight hours we're sleeping, it's frozen rock solid. I but they say, but they say the ACs, right? The ACs and the freezers are the main. You are uh, not in Bandi. No, I'm not. I'm not. I don't. I think I'm in Bandwagon. <laughs> so, so, uh, no, but, you, do you know I'm wishing I'm in yeah. band A? Mm. So even if I calculate band A, I'm going to be paying like 500,000 a month. Mm. No, you're guessing that that's what you'll be paying. Right? 700, though, pay, you sure? don't have an idea how much I use for electricity. No, I'm saying, saying, like, you money, you're not, people like us, we're family, we're small. Yeah. Uh, we're, we're, we're plenty. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Please, uh, yes. So why are you putting 500? No, I said, let's Mama, assume. Mama no, Brown. You can't be up to 1 million. Now, Mama, Brown, Mama Brown is used to her small, pure lifestyle. She doesn't use air conditioner. It's fun she uses. Mm -hmm. She only turns on, she and Mama Brown and her mama are in one room. Mm -hmm. All the rooms are empty. empty. She's in her room and kitchen. That's it. Evening, she turns on the TV. They give her 140,000 naira. How? How? Mm. How is that possible? Well, she's as well. She's wearing, wearing my God, same, same, yeah. same, 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 same estate. Yeah. 140,000 naira. She's just cut living room and living room only comes there in the That's evening. That's the cost of electricity, is what they're saying. Yes. Now. Electricity. Well, so is if you don't give me a meter, don't, don't give me that cost. That's, That's the what thing. I'm saying. Give me a meter. Give me a meter. Problem. Problem. Give give meter, me a meter. meter. Well, if you have prepared meter, you will know how to manage yourself. By yourself, people. nobody will advise you. Once you see the thing, this reading, nobody will tell you. Because when you don't give me like a meter, you switch up the AC. When you are. So, then uh, we, okay, go ahead. Uh, we also where, hope we get to a point where you can discuss with the people and say, it's 50,000 naira I have for the month, so give me electricity only what 
50,000 naira. No, give me All a meter. That, I would, yes, I will now manage it myself. You cannot be charging me for the hours that the electricity does not come. That's what happens with postpaid. That's why I don't like that thing at all. At all. And then for, go, we are for us to still, Yes, and then for us to still not have meters, especially when you have applied for it, you are constantly going to the offices trying to get this they meter. They don't have available. And then they'll be giving you um, bills like Even this. Even though I've used all the connection I can find. I'm so afraid There's to no connection. No, no connection for this thing. No. <laughs> Everybody has tried connection for bill. I don't have meter. We have been going back and forth for meter. We don't have meter. But the truth is, everything is getting expensive. Yeah. Not right? 500,000 naira bill. No, everything from, a, from 120, everything, okay, everything I have never paid more than 120 in a month. Everything is... Now you must buy don't understand because, me. Yes, that's because, why you don't understand because me. Because you've been collecting subsidy on it. No, 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 So now you're paying now for all the subsidies. That's for us. But every part of this country... That she's going to pay 500,000 naira for the month of April for electricity. How much do they buy here? If you want buy hair. No, no, it's don't not. buy my hair every month. No, you don't buy hair every month. But I'm just telling you that things are now expensive. Yeah. If we want to have cost reflective prices on everything, we cough out the money. It's hair it's, expensive. It's, it's Leave that matter. <laughs> <laughs> we will be able to, we will be ready to pay yeah, for the service. You know what we need to do? The the job, is, all these wigs, we need to put fire. Must come and jam off for me. Because me and not, we're not better. That they will come and cut off the lights. In fact, let us even see we if we can manage. We cannot stay in darkness, Mariah. We will manage. Your color will turn black. We will manage. We cannot stay would in you, darkness. Would you, rather, would you rather you have like an estate big gen? That powers you 24/7, and then you're buying diesel over and over. We buy diesel sometimes, but when we want that diesel, that one is worse. That one is worse. Diesel gone, it gets worse. no power. That one is worse. Oh. I think I have a caller. You see, I have a mm. caller. Good morning. Yes, Thanks for calling. Hope was... Grandma from Ikeja, you're live, ma. Grandma. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, ma. And the ladies, how are you all? Very well, ma. Thank you. Now, you ladies are talking and uh, you think you are having fun on this and here and here and here. And here. You not. don't want to imagine a retired husband, a retired husband, retired mm -hmm. wife, True. both grandpa and grandma in the house. There is solar, there is inverter, and we still use 50,000 for two weeks. Mm -hmm. You are not picking up, so you are having fun discussing this thing. You know. I don't, I don't know the meaning of band A as the band B. You need only one around the name You should address how they will bring it down. Yeah, thank you. Look at my scenario retired grandpa, grandma, 50,000 in two weeks. Mm. Eh? Sorry, Grandma. I mean, you're right. We shouldn't be trivializing or laughing about this. Is, this is serious money. As I'm speaking to you, I've not paid my bill. So it's, so it's, not, it's not funny. And, the, it's actually, and, 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 and what Grandma so, is saying, yeah. mm -hmm. what Grandma is saying is, she's retired. That means she has no money coming. Not yeah. Yeah. She's yeah. not earning. Yeah. And, and, and you are giving her a bill of 50000 every two weeks. How does she pay it? Yeah. How does she pay it? Yeah. Um, you see, why I went to these people that bought the, when they privatized Nepal, why I went there is it's an investment. They are supposed to have done everything properly before they even start to say, you, you, we didn't beg you to buy Nepal from the government. We didn't beg you. Now you are now infinite one lara. You are using it to spoil our own. Why? So I can understand where grandma is coming from. Yeah. But do you think we're being... Um... The way you, they say you have your cake and eat it. Do yeah. you think that's what we're being, yeah. really? Because as we understand, things are getting expensive. Electricity is expensive. And so we are paying for most, for those using prepaid, yeah. it's cost reflective. And we have said that over and over again, that we prefer cost reflective. Um, we'll pay, uh, just, we'll give us pay just give it give to us. us. So now that they are giving it to us, should we still be complaining? Or really, we should be looking at ways to change, to, to change our lifestyle. Secondly, um, for other countries, I think, that have this, they are able to go you know, through different electricity companies and see which one works best for them, mm -hmm. which prices work best for them. So I think that's where we need to start thinking. Okay, thank you. But the problem with Nigeria is that we're still trying to even sort out ground A level. Like, yes. those of you that have invested in the business, are you even doing everything cooking, necessary, especially investing in infrastructure to make sure thank that... Thank you for taking the environment, because what, what, what I'm hearing to you saying is even the solution. Yeah. How do we even fix this problem? What, what suggestions can we make? Mm -hmm. If I was going to make a suggestion to the government, first of all, we're paying 70 for... For, for premium, whatever it was, be in, 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 in our estate. Now, from 70, you moved us to 225. Mm -hmm. 
now you have reviewed it to 206. That is like, that's way too high. Yes, it is. So I'm thinking if you want to do it gradually, maybe until the government makes life more easy and comfortable for Nigeria, we can earn more. We can pay 225 maybe much later. But right now, increase, maybe double it, 140 or 160. Not to 220 something. Oh, it's, 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 hold on. Oh, gradually. It's make it gradual. It's inflation gradual. It's not. So, first of all, we need to see this as a business. We, we have, over the years, seen it as a welfare package because government has consistently been subsidizing it. Oh, wait, excuse me. Wait, wait, wait. No, let, wait, me, wait. let me first stop you there. So when so was government, there, well, we wait, 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 wait. So, are there not things that government should subsidize us in? Because everything they said they want to remove something, you will remove something for petrol, you have removed something for electricity, but we're not seeing you, have, you have removed something for food. It's when a excuse me. It's when a government okay, is buoyant, YK. Okay. It's, it's when a government is buoyant. That they can uh, subsidize. Because in the 70s, right they, they were subsidizing education. Yes. They were subsidizing when they, boy, when they had money, they the subsidized. The boom era. No, there's no money. There's they no are money. bankrupt. Yes. <laughs> have I been in government bankrupt. before? Did I follow them to talk to them? Oh, yeah. so we're all getting where we are. We don't have money. But here we are. So now. And none of them ever get. Uh, 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 we are they, here now, YK. Okay. So they, they are the most. So I think you wonder why there's Yahoo.com. I mean Yahoo, Yahoo, Yahoo Plus. I mean because they are just. It's a reflection of our site. Yeah. Because they can see. Excuse me. This is telling me now. You, they can see that uh, Nigeria has gotten worse. bad, 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 worse, worse, worse. Yeah. And then you see. Mm -hmm. The people that are what am I living large? Yeah. Okay, fine. Why then you are wondering what example? What example are you searching for? Why key? That criminality pays. This lamentation, eh? Everybody laments about we it lament every, every day. day. But in the parties, in the airport, we are all screaming the same zero thing. Back but how do we fix it? Yes. We can lament it tomorrow. Yeah, so zeroing back to the solution. Let's jail all the people that are under prosecution. Okay. Now. That's one. That's one. one. That's why. Collect what they want. Give it to government. Two infrastructural two. investments. Two. Now we, we need, need money. Yes, we need um, <laughs> the uh, sector, the electricity oh. sector, to be heavily invested on and people who want to invest are also asking themselves are we going to get anything out of this no businessman wants to put money where you're not getting oh. your policy stopping you from yeah. earning your profits and all of that i, I like the idea that's if they're even making now no. i like the idea that you mentioned which is we have different options you can now choose like the way you decide to use your telecommunication company either i'm using this particular one or that one whichever is cheaper for me to yeah. get my data but for us to get there people who are yeah. investing must, must be able know. to get yes. returns. Project. And then people, more people will come in. There are a lot of biz, uh, rich men who are looking for businesses to do and where yes. to put their money. But they are also skeptical about it. So we cannot keep allowing government to say, okay, we're going to subsidize and subsidize and subsidize. A lot of people will not be able to invest yes. in this. To get the power. That's, so that's the truth of the matter. God bless you. If you give us prepaid, yes. we can manage our life. Yes, yes. Even, no, if, you my increase, even okay. if you increase the prices for us, I can choose that in a deal, we are using light in this house just to. So hours. the real solution is the is prepared meter. Yeah. That's prepared. the real solution. Yeah. Okay, and what of a invest? business like my own mm -hmm. that they have said we are not entitled to prepared meter? Why are you not entitled? That's why you, you don't go ask no. Nepal. Well, how so? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe because they are yet to get um, meters to all households, because households like Moriah's should have gotten prepared. But they should support now. businesses. Too. And we know of many households who have said they have applied for it, they have waited and waited, and they still have not gotten this prepared. Yes. Meter. And also, there seems to be some sort of scam going on, as if you are insisting on keeping people on this postpaid because you are making, are making a, a lot yeah. of money. We read in the papers, and they said they make so much money based off on postpaid. They are yeah. You're paying for electricity that you haven't used. Yeah. And so that amount of money, government has said that they were going to take that amount of money and use it. Now, use that money and invest in the infrastructure. Yeah. Whether we like it or not, infrastructurally, our things are more, bad. they are bad, yeah. really bad. Yeah. And if we don't fix that, we cannot get more electricity. Yeah. But that's also what the minister said. He said, those of you that did the investment, you have not invested in the infrastructure. You did just you not invest in? To, that's why I want to know they what, what to their profit money. Yes, what their profit okay. is. Well, that's it. Yeah. They are business people. We keep saying that yeah. they are doing it for the profit. At whose cost? At what? You know, to the detriment of many Nigerians. If we had given, I don't know, you know, if, we can, if they can give us like a five-year plan or a ten-year plan of investing in infrastructure. No. I think where we are now is that we're saying states 
are able to provide electricity. Exactly. Now, now that's, that's another right. option. Good. Yeah. States should go yeah. look internal that's and see how they can do it. Secondly, we're talking of green energy. Let's yeah. invest in solar and yeah. things like that. So state level. We can be shouting at the labu all we want, but the government still have a role in this. Yes. Let me take a Kenneth call from my um, Kenneth from my girl's palace. I got palace. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. sorry. So sorry. thank you, Maya, for reminding us that of that. So we can uh, the neck Adelabu is one entity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But the truth is, Abia State is doing that. Mm -hmm. Generating power. Yeah, Lagos State. Says Lagos State is doing that in Alausa and the other places that are doing it. Exactly. So we can actually look within and see how we can generate power. Yes, why can you something? No, they're not. Under the former, I don't know, they were Ashala. not even allowed to generate power. No, no, the yeah, last change. Now, the last yeah. change now. Yeah. So, yeah. so yeah. now you are now telling state governments yes. to now use all their money. Not all, all their money. money. They invest in Wait, now. they will invest. Somebody said hydro saying, earlier. If you have, if you are near, if your state is near no water, hydro, can you try hydro. and do generate power? Solar, so there are different good. options. I'm not saying that there are not options. Okay. There, there are. That will but also cost serious money too. Yeah, not only will it cost serious, it will cost serious time. Mm. Some people will die. Before, Before it, it comes, comes <laughs> because you will die from stress of Nepa. Why, okay, you know why it's N Nepa will kill you. Okay. You know, okay. you, you know why that is so sad to hear because I was watching a documentary recently, and this country they are moving from solar panels to like solar little because the panels take up so much space. As in, they have gone further in providing better electricity for their country by looking for better and uh, more mobile and durable ways, okay. you know, to, to provide electricity for their people. Meanwhile, we were still struggling with hydro. Oh, Kainji Dam is not bringing water. It has not rained in six yeah, because months, as if we we're in 1800. Please, hey, we don't want to look inside message. now. I was called. Good morning. Thanks for calling. You're live. Uh, good morning. Good morning. All right. Hello. Uh, Afuzin. Interesting. Artism, artism, artism. Okay. Artism, artism. Artism. Okay. What does it mean? You're welcome. Go ahead, sir. Artism is A-C-H-U-S-I-M, not P, not P. Okay, they'll make it, they'll change it. Go ahead, sir. The name is Jenny, Bobby Ajolo, and Miriam. Go ahead. Okay, let me just continue to listen to your discussion this morning. Okay. The, the system has been designed that so if you are not on the page, you pay out the justice. That is the way it's designed. The money they are making is from the post pay. Yeah. It's not, you, you can't determine your consumption. You just bring the pay to you and you have to pay. After, uh, the last time I traveled to Central City, I was about to try to get the I, I, my heart was created uh, by NCA, often I'm here. I went to the power office. I applied for two, uh, for two to three meters. In fact, the conditions they gave me is so weird that, they, okay, you call for the enumeration, you build the enumeration and every other thing. What am I getting my meter? It's from one story to the other, one story to the other. I can't hear Okay, thank you. We, we, we lost that connection. I have this um, message from um, Doc Engineer Tijani. It says, good morning, Mariah. The first thing the discos need to do is to improve on reducing energy theft. This is what is taking a large chunk of their revenue. Energy theft is huge and it should be dealt with. Unfortunately, the culprits are within the sector because and the end users are not in isolation. Staff of discos are also involved. Yeah. If they can address that aspect and improve on their efficiency, including reduction in cable theft, at the transformers, the cost will reduce and they'll be able to uh, pay up their bills to Genco's and TCM because that's part of the problem. That's some infrastructure issues. The discos are unable to get enough money to pay the discos and, 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 and Genco's and, and TSN. So is, is that cycle that continues? So, so somebody, we the customers are the ones that have to pay that. But we, we don't mind paying, but let us pay right. Mm. I don't mind paying consistently, but mm -hmm. give me, let me pay for what I'm consuming. Yeah, yes. What you're billing me yeah, right. is, 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 is far above and beyond what What's your consuming? I'm consuming. So this is what Eddie is saying. You see, they, they, Shabin, you say you don't mind paying. They just gave you a bill of 500 k. No, no, no. Yeah. That, for me, it's, that is not, not so First that. of all, she's not metered. I'm not metered. So second, secondly, the, the thing is high, but this is what um, someone here says. says Ehi says, <laughs> I'm, I'm one who said bring stable power and people will pay. I stand by that. Um, however, still too many unmetered houses. This rate is hilariously high. If it really costs more to produce and distribute electricity here than in the US. So I don't know how much, yeah. but it seems that these rates are higher than that. Someone says that um, Moses Lawal says facts we mustn't miss. Every consumer must be metered. Bands must get the minimum hours expected for each band. 
Once you are in band A, no subsidy is paid for you. You bear the cost 100%. For so bands B to E, your bills are subsidized in ascending order. As I said, so, so I mean, but if you're not metered, how are you sure so my, my estate is metered, mm -hmm. right? So that meter in the estate, they now have something called a check meter. So each household is checked where you can actually is multiply. Is it metered, postpaid, or prepaid? It's, it's so prepaid, you pay. pay. You pay because you start using it, and then yeah. your money is being deducted. Oh, yeah. yes. uh -huh. So you're not paid. Yeah. 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 You're not paid. Yeah. Sorry, yes. you're yeah. estimated. estimating what comes into your transformer for yeah. that estate. And yes, then and then they share yeah. it for yeah. us. Like, like our house in Alagbole, we are prepared. Mm. Mm. So that's why you never hear me complain. Yeah, because, because you use according to. We use according to. Yeah. In fact, you have, have a it. budget for it. You can budget for it. Yeah. Like 100 you have to use And then we'll use that energy. Yeah. yeah, that makes all the love So sense. get the meter. Hey, but just, I'm looking for the so meter. All the connections. Like, you, they, all the they, connections are not giving me the meter. Stop picking my calls problem. again. Let me solve government problem. Yeah. Very, very easy. Stop picking out. Go, all the politicians and all the people that have chopped money, go and meet them. Uh -huh. If you don't want to go to jail, return all the money. When you return it, Invest it in Nepal. Okay, give me one politician that's only one, one, one. I, I can't, I can't. You, you, want oh. them to, you want them to charge me for libel? <laughs> when they have no prosecutor. Yeah, like yeah. so you have no prosecutor. So okay, I will give you one. So, so Darie. Darie, didn't they jail him? Yeah. He's been released He's been released. Presidential yeah. pardon. Yeah. Mm. Presidential pardon. They should hold so him. So, oh. so all the money that he stole now. Yeah, he's saying that they, they should, should have given him. Yeah. Yeah, that, that, that will pay for your meter. That will pay for no. your no. No. trust collective. No. No. Yeah. Yeah. That was Payment. Plateau State's money that won back in Plateau State, not to come and pay Lagos State's meter. At least Plateau State will be able to do the NFA now. Yeah. Grandma, no, grandma no. is upset with us. We're laughing about this thing. I'm no. not laughing. I'm not laughing. I'm not laughing. I'm not laughing. Grandma understands that this laughter is not It's not like joyful. Here laughter. we are again. What do we do and how Every do we day. move forward? Sometimes living in Nigeria, it Just needs you to deliberately day. laugh or else you constantly be depressed. Be, be, be depressed. Some people, I, you, I, do you know that I, I'm not joking when I say some people are dying when they get their bills? <laughs> Because <sighs> attack attack. Bro, okay. Okay. my husband yesterday, me and um, after the uh, Nicola Cooper, mm. we had a fight because he was crying already. I was not wondering what happened to you. He said, have you seen the bill? <laughs> we not paid it. <laughs> so the thing is, the, the guy is constantly from Friday. He hasn't, he hasn't been himself. And you're using, and you're Saturday, using I was using power. So this morning, he said, wait, well, what are we going to do? But where are all your connections? I said, I don't have connection again, no. No connection. <laughs> so They're not picking my connection. calls. <laughs> this bill, this is what I'm going to be. This bill. So everybody's crying right now. I'm, I'm upset. It's not funny. Grandma, it's not saying I'm laughing. I am crying inside. Mm. So I'm on funny. TV. Yeah, I have to just, you know, but it's sad. Fine face. Because he, he was just, I was just, what was, what was making you upset? Yeah. The guy is upset. <sighs> I wish they told you the solution. Sure. Anyways, that is all you for your band. Go and collect all the people that have. And you know, it's not only politicians. You know, we have to go. Okay. Oh, imagine if you're also renting that space. Please, oh, all the that connections that I'm calling, please pick my call. I cannot pay 500000 <laughs> What do you want the connection to do? I don't even know. No, you still pay it. I will still pay I have no choice. I, know I have no choice. <laughs> I have to, we have to pay it. But I was like, you see why I cannot survive, survive doing only one thing in this country? With salary, we pay never be alone. That is all we know. That is all we can take. On today's show, ending power, zero. See you tomorrow. Bye for now.